Hello again. Shots like these wouldn't be possible a few years back without using helicopters, which of course is a super expensive idea. And even then, it would be a challenge to get shots so close and with such great stability. Today's technology changes all of that. And the fact that I was filming this entire video while I was driving the car without anyone's assistance makes this technology so awesome. Stay tuned to find out how I took these shots. Well, that's my tent with all the aerial equipment and I must tell you what a beautiful place this is. In the middle of nature and more importantly, no traffic. And that's the quadcopter we are going to fly today. It's a DJI Inspire 1. By the way, this is a small and beautiful place called Ainur. It's around 300 kilometers from Bangalore and the path I've chosen today is an abandoned muddy road with absolutely no signs of traffic allowing us to safely test the autonomous modes okay so the first thing I do is open the DJI Go app and I use this app to take off the aircraft and bring it up to a certain height by doing this I'm also specifying the minimum altitude that I want the aircraft to maintain and I want the aircraft to fly only about that altitude and then I engage the autopilot mode as soon as I do that I start driving the car so at this point the aircraft is flying automatically without anybody controlling it and it's able to keep the car in the frame all the time even when the car is on the move which you're going to see in a minute there you go it doesn't let the car go out of the frame even for a small moment I intentionally did not raise the landing gear since this was an experiment and I wanted to protect the camera in case of a crash. So how is the aircraft managing to keep the car in the frame all the time without me having to control it? The way this works is the GPS on my iPhone is passing my current location to the controller. That's the drone's controller which in turn is instructing the drone to do the complex calculations and fly around me keeping my current location always in the frame so basically it's following my location you can see as I stop the car the drone stops as well at this point I am trying to reverse the car and drive back on the same path I would have done better with an off-roader but I cannot complain. I think my Suzuki Swift did an impressive job considering that these roads are only meant for tractors. I think that's not bad at all. So back on track after a little pause and the drone continues to follow me. I love the way it manages to film the subject from different angles and all of that is automatic. Of course, you can further specify the precise angle you want it to capture but I think the basic auto mode always does a good job in framing the scene perfectly. It is important to note that there is no obstacle avoidance system in this setup. So that means if a tree or a wire comes in the path of the drone, it's not going to be aware of it and it will go ahead and crash. Hence. As a precautionary measure, I inspected the entire path prior to the flight and programmed the drone to fly at an altitude above the tallest obstacle, which happens to be this tree that you see right now. At this moment, I get down the car and I start walking just to show that it's following me, rather the controller and not the car. Here's another road without any traffic and uh, the softwares that I used were the DJI Go app and the autopilot app and I must tell you that the guys at autopilot have done an amazing job so if it was not this follow me mode the other ways of taking this shot would be much more complex one of them is using waypoints where you program the aircraft to fly a certain path at a predefined speed and altitude and then you drive the car on the same path at the same speed and manage to keep yourself in the frame which can be pretty cumbersome and will require many retakes 
And the other method of course is the conventional way of piloting the drone manually to take these kind of shots which again is very challenging and you would again require many retakes. Well that makes me wonder what other real world applications can there be apart from photography that can utilize this follow me mode. If you have any insights or ideas around practical use cases of this method please leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.